Welcome back, welcome back everybody to the 8-Bit Nexus. This is your boy Deontay. I am your host, your pro gamer, your harshest critic, and your biggest fan. And today I'm going to talk about something that I feel like is a... It's a big deal to me. I, I can't say it's going to be a big deal to everyone else. Um, but I did some thinking, some brainstorming, and then I put in some work. And I found a way to essentially have pico 8 games auto boot when you plug them in from a usb drive um so it's a lot similar to how i did the floppy disk on the original console that i did um big shout out to grim home he he was like the inspiration on that piece um but uh well got some grouper tunes going in the background the, the legend of zelda uh, but something I want to point out, um, it's not a lot to make it happen, I discovered. Um, gonna go ahead and share my little setup here. Um, so, here's, here's the thing, okay? You only need a few things, okay? You need the flash drive with your game on it okay um, and I can show you here I'll plug this one in and I'll show you so you have your cart uh, I have it named as main.pa.png because that's how I have it reading the files um, and then when I go into my folder here you see this thing called auto boot dot ahk I'll get into that in a minute uh, let me just go ahead and open it up for you real quick super simple code boom so what this does is it finds the drive letter on the flash drive so you got letter E because my flash drive pops up as the letter E it seeks out Pico 8 and its path file where the actual executable is located uh, and then it'll open it up and then it's going to look for the game that is on your flash drive um, the reason I did it like this is because now any cart that I put on a flash drive, I just have to name it main and it works for all of them. Boom, bang, pow, it's there. Um, and then it'll process, plays the game. Uh, and then I also set it up to automatically close Pico 8 when you pull the flash drive out. And also if you hit the escape key, it will also close the game out as well as exit out of the script itself. So I can kind of show you what that's like here. Um, so if I double click and then I go down here, you can see that it is running and it automatically read the game from the flash drive. And then boom, I'll hit the escape key. I can pull the flash drive that's out. Um, and then I'll rerun the script. You can see that the script is running, right? Uh, and then when I plug the flash drive in it will automatically read it when it comes in and then boom launches the game instantly and I think this is a fantastic way to begin putting your games on physical media I know it's not a handheld it's not some custom console but I know in the Pico A community man everyone is looking for a way to have Pico 8 games on physical media and do their own little collections at a very cost effective rate. Okay, that's what this is about. It's very affordable to get flash drives. Okay, it's this is a very simple process. Um, you need only one additional application outside of Pico 8, and it is this one that is called Auto Hotkey. And you install it, it's free, you never have to open it okay and the reason I say that is because you only need it so that it can run the file when you double click it alright and I'm just gonna have the file out there for people to be able to access it and just download it boom as long as everything lines up in the notepad uh, I know this drive letter can be different on some people it could be a B C D whatever uh, and as long as you do the initial install of Pico 8 it's probably in this whole same location um, and that do that's it you install this okay you ensure that you have the cart on your flash drive and it's named main.p8.png and then 
as long as the program is running and as you can see I'll double click it it'll run it and it's automatically gonna start reading for that flash drive and it boots automatically man it's amazing and I can hit the escape key and get out or I can pull the flash drive boom shuts it down and now the thing is this script will continue running until you hit the escape key so if you try to open up Pico 8 it's gonna, it's gonna close it out because that's what the script is supposed to do so you can just hit the escape key man it, it's not a big hassle you know it's super easy and I think that if people are willing to do this small additional step on their PCs that they can also get this same feature you know what I'm saying so you download this install it download this file right here I'll post it up and then people can start putting the games on flash drives man you can do the boxes up real nice and neat here's a beautiful example from Pex Labs of how they're thinking about doing their carts when they finish their handheld um, I think this looks amazing I think this could be some phenomenal inspiration you know outside of this cartridge right here you just have a flash drive right you can do your box up nice and neat you can put your manual and then you can ship it man ship it on a flash drive and people can pull it up on their laptop on their PC plug that bad boy in and boom you got a game going so for you guys that kind of want to do some physical media this is a bit of a shortcut you know it's not for a dedicated console and I know it's a bit of a bummer but it, it's a way to do it you know and I think that's it's a great little gateway to get in there and I feel like some people might look at this and they can enhance it make it better than what it is and I'm all for that uh, I'm not in it for the fame and fortune, bro. I just, I love Pico 8 and Picotron and the games that it brings out. So I kind of want to just share that. Um, if you're wondering about multi carts, yes, some multi carts I have gotten to work, such as Solitude. Um, outside of Solitude, though, um, I have not gotten anything else yet. I've only tried a few others. So it's, it's still up there, and I'm probably just doing something wrong. Okay. I'm not a programmer. I, I I went to freaking Copilot to generate that code. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a programmer. I just put in the prompts and it spit it out. I tested and I adjusted a couple things, edited a couple things, and then boom, it works. Um, so if you're someone that is thinking about selling your games on a physical form of media, such as a very affordable flash drive, and you can sell your games to people that want to collect them and play them in an affordable manner, I feel like this is a cool way to go about it. You don't have the handheld, no. You don't have the custom console, no. But everyone has a laptop. Everyone has a PC. Um, now, for now, this can I'm sure this can be easily adjusted for Linux and Mac. Um, this is for Windows computers, if you're wondering. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, man. If that is something you guys are thinking about or have wondered about, this is a very cost-effective way to do it. And if you're willing to do it and put your game out there, I'll buy it. Okay. I'm all for it and I'm all for supporting. And like I said, it's cost effective. So you don't have to come out of pocket for a bunch of money, man. Um, and then if you're looking into make, making a manual, I know Sailor has a template up on itch. And I know uh, Taxi Comics has a couple of uh, box templates and stuff that you can like kind of print out and mess around with. Uh, so there's resources man they're out there and yeah man just let me know if you guys want something like this if you're for it you know um, but yeah man thanks for tuning in hope you guys have a great day let me get some feedback man and I'll get this stuff up thank you guys for dropping by and I will catch you later